Hi everyone! It is so nice to be back. I had um, taken some time off, um, actually a bit of a break, just to recharge, get some rest, and really spend more time with family. But it's very wonderful to be teaching again. So in today's class, we are going to take it somewhat easy. It is an easy flow class, and the holds are not going to be very long. So I hope you enjoy. So we're going to stop, start in a tabletop position. All right, and then just do any movement that you like. It could be a, simply, a simple swaying of the hips side to side. Maybe get a few circles in the hips. Okay. Okay, if you're doing the hip circles, make sure you go the other direction. Okay. Just taking your time here. And then one more breath in. And then from here, we'll come back to center. Okay. And then this time, we're going to reach our hands towards the corners of the mat. Okay. And then go ahead, press the chest down. Okay. You can maybe even let your forehead rest on the mat. <clears throat> okay. And then just find that reach. Okay. Maybe spread through the fingers as the palms press down. And then as you stay here, maybe you'll add the wiggling of the hips side to side. Okay, one more cycle here. And then from here, we'll release. We'll come back to tabletop. And then from here, we'll curl the toes. And then we'll make our way into downward facing dog. And then as you stay in down dog, any movement again that you like. I always like bending one knee and the other. Okay, and then maybe swaying the hip side to side. See how the side body is feeling okay. one more cycle here and then from here let's start to add a little bit more movement okay go ahead we'll shift forward into plank and then as we stay in our plank pose okay see how this feels for you push away from the mat okay. there might be a slight ro um, rounding at the upper back but balance that with reaching the chest forward active through the legs and then pushing back into downward facing dog. If it's needed that to um, add some more movements in down dog, go for it. Okay. We'll do that again. We'll shift forward into our plank, holding steady here again. Now you're welcome to stay here with four points on the mat or if you'd already want to explore, we'll lift that right leg away from the mat and then hold steady here, one more breath. And then as you exhale, right foot down, downward facing dog. Okay. Now if you want to be steady in down dog, go ahead. Or if you need to move, go ahead. One more side. Let's shift forward into plank again. Okay, by this round. Okay, maybe observe how the wrists are doing. Okay, you can always come down into tabletop. Or we'll start to balance, lift that left leg up. Okay, breathing in and out holding steady here one more breath from here left foot down and then into downward facing dog you know as we stay in down dog observe the breath one more cycle here and then from here we'll make our way to the top of the mat okay but once you're there stay in the forward fold Okay. Then as you stay in the forward fold, you can just let your head hang. You can hold on to your elbows. I also like adding a swinging of the torso side to side. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll release. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. You can press away from the shins or your thighs. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, we'll reach up, standing up, lengthening up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. All right, from here, let's add to our warm up. Inhale, arms will lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll ground through the palms. Okay, go ahead, step back into your plank. Hold steady here. You can stay here if you want to build a bit more strength. Or when you're ready, you can do a modified chaturanga. Bring the knees down first, 
chest reaches forward as you bring your chest down to the mat. Ground down through the toes, elbows will gently hug in as we lift up to our cobra. Or you can find up dog, see how the back feels, and we'll make our way into downward facing dog. Staying here again, breathing in and out. Two more cycles, inhale and exhale. One more, breathing in and out. From here, we'll look forward, knees will bend, we'll make our way to the top of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach up, standing up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Okay, two more of our sun salute A. Inhale, arms will lift. Exhale, we'll fold, reaching down. Inhale, coming up halfway. As you exhale, making your way back again to your plank. Okay, maybe you'll do it modified again. Or maybe you'll keep the knees lifted as you shift forward. Maybe you'll hover. Inhale as we press up. Exhale into our downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Observe the breath again. One more cycle here. From here, we'll look forward, we'll make our way to the top again. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach up, standing up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. One more sun salute A. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, reaching down. Inhale, as we come up halfway. Exhale, making your way back. Okay, and then continue through your transition, whether you're doing it modified, breathing in, and then into downward facing dog. <clears throat> breathing in and out. Okay, from here, right leg will lift it up. We'll swing that leg open, bend at the right knee. Press away from both palms, one more breath. And then from here, right foot will bring it back down. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, left leg will lift. Reach through that left leg, bending through the knee, pushing away from the hands. One more breath here. And then from here, left foot will bring it down. Steady with the breath. From here, we'll make our way to the top of the mat. Knees will bend as we come forward. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach up. Exhale, hands back. Okay, from here, we'll bend the knees. We'll reach our arms up. We'll find our chair. And then exhale, we'll fold. Going into our sun salute B. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. And then as you exhale, making your way back again. Maybe others, those who practice their jump back, go ahead. Okay, but take your time as you transition again into our downward facing dog. Okay, we'll move with the breath. Inhale, right leg will lift. We'll step it forward in between the hands. Ground that left heel as we breathe in. Let's come up into our warrior one. We'll add here as you exhale, turn the chest into our warrior two. Reach the arms out to the sides. As we breathe in, we'll add our reverse warrior reaching back. And then as we exhale, making our way <clears throat> all the way down. And then choose your transition again into our downward facing dog. Okay, same pace on the left side. Inhale, left leg will lift up. So I kick my plant, <laughs> step it forward in between the hands. Ground that right foot at an angle. Reach up, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, we'll turn the chest out. You can always adjust the legs, adjust the feet. We'll reverse, reach it back. And then as you exhale, hands will come down, taking your time. You can even pause in plank and then decide. And we'll make our way into our downward facing dog. Okay, this time five cycles of breath. 
Breathing in and out. Okay, maybe observe here. <laughs> I know my heart rate is increasing. So use the breath. Okay, you know, as we warm up the body. One more cycle here. From here, we'll look forward. Knees will bend. You can walk or you might play around with jumping forward. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach up, standing up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. I always miss the chair pose at the end, but let's do that again. We'll bend the knees. We'll reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, we'll fold forward. We'll keep flowing. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. And then as you exhale, making your way back again. You can practice your jump back or you can always step back first. Inhale here. And then we'll find our downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Okay, inhale, right leg will lift. We'll step it forward in between the hands. We ground that left heel. From here, we'll find warrior two. Bring the arms out to a T. Okay, now as we hold warrior two, we're going to transition. We'll straighten that right leg out. We'll reach that right hand down, either on the shin or on the mat, or if you have your block, stay here. Okay, you can stay here or reach that left arm up and over. Okay, breathing in and out. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll release as right knee bends. Palms press down, stepping back into plank, and then choose your transition again as we make our way into downward facing dog. Okay, other side. Inhale, left leg will lift up and step it forward in between the hands. Right heel will ground down. We'll come up to our warrior two, arms out to a T. Okay, now as we bend through that left knee, okay, <clears throat> we won't be here very long. We'll come into triangle pose. Okay, left leg will straighten as left arm reaches down. You can be on your shin, okay, but make sure you're not dumping the weight here. You can always use your block. Okay. You can stay here with right arm reaching up or reach it over the head. Okay, when you change that element, okay, or when you change um, the position of the arm, it gives you a different element in the shape okay so see where you need it one more breath and then from here we'll release hands will come down as we step back breathing in choose again your transition inhale here making our way into downward facing dog five cycles here Pressing away from the mat. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll look forward. Knees will bend. You can walk or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach up. Ooh, we'll bend the knees. Almost forgot that chair. And then exhale. We'll find the dasana. So still with our bees, okay, go ahead. We'll bend the knees. We'll find our chair pose. Okay, you can be in a high chair or you can be in a low chair if you like. And then exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. And then as you exhale, making your way back. Okay, so if you've doing, been doing the jump backs, okay, so know that you can always manage your energy okay, throughout the class or throughout the practice okay, as we make our way into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg will lift it up. It okay, will keep moving. Step it forward in between the hands. Left heel will ground it down. We'll come up into our warrior one, breathing in here. But we won't be here very long. We'll transition into our warrior three. Okay, reach forward. You can reach the arms by the sides. Lean forward into that right leg as we push away from that left foot. 
Okay, staying here in our warrior three, you can play around with your arms if you like, out to a T or over the head. One more breath. From here, we'll land back into our warrior one. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, making your way back down. Okay, go ahead. You can modify the transition into our downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Inhale, left leg will lift up. And step it forward in between the hands. We're coming into our warrior one, back foot grounds. Inhale, reaching up through the side body. As you exhale, go ahead, lean forward, lean into that left leg. Gently push away from that right foot. Balancing here, hold steady. Reach through that lifted leg, reach through the crown of the head, zip up here. One more breath. And then from here, lightly land back into warrior one, inhale. And then exhale, making your way down. So choose in plank if you want to transition or not. You can modify, up to you, breathing in. And then into our downward facing dog. Five cycles here. Breathing in and out. Hmm. So observe. Maintain that rhythm that you've started with your breath. And then from here, we'll make our way to the top. So bend, either walk or jump forward. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll bend the knees. So we'll find our chair pose. And then exhale, back to Tadasana. Hands back by the sides. All right, next round, we'll keep moving. Bend the knees again. We'll find our chair pose. Exhale, we'll fold forward. So we're not holding our chair very long. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll make our way back again. So choose, breathe in through your back, and then choose your transition. Making our way into our downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Inhale, right leg will lift up. And step it forward in between the hands. Okay, this time we'll come up to our high lunge. Inhale, reaching up. And then as you exhale, we're going to twist. Bring the hands together, left elbow to that right thigh. Okay, balance that out with your right leg pressing up. Breathing in and out. Staying here for another breath. And then from here, we'll release. Hands will come down as we step back. Okay, choose your transition again. Making our way into downward facing dog. Okay, left side, inhale. Left leg will lift up. We'll step it forward in between the hands. Okay. We'll find our high lunge, reaching up, lengthen through the arms. Then as you exhale, we'll add that twist. Palms come together, right elbow to that left thigh. Okay, staying here for another breath. And then from here, we'll release. Hands will come down as we step back. Inhale, choose again. Know that you can always modify this part, breathing in as we make our way into downward facing dog. <clears throat> breathing in and out. Okay. So observe here, see if we can still press away from the palms, lengthen through the back body. Okay. You can always adjust, you can bend the knees if you like. One more breath in our down dog. And from here, we'll look forward, making our way to the top of the mat. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll bend the knees. We'll reach the arms up. And then exhale into our Tadasana, standing up. 
We'll bend the knees again. We'll find our chair pose and just in transition. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. And then as you exhale, finding plank. And then choose again your transition. Breathing in into our downward facing dog. And then staying in our downward facing dog. Okay, inhale, right leg will lift up. Step it forward in between the hands. Okay, we'll ground that left heel. And then this time we're going to straighten out that right leg. Now, if you need your blocks, it will look like this. So remember, if you feel that the floor is too far away or that you're rounding more rather than reaching forward, lift your platform higher by using your blocks. You can always um, adjust the block height when you need. Okay. We'll hug the thighs together. One more breath here. Then from here, we'll add the twist. Ground through your left palm. <clears throat> okay, I'm just switching my block height. Then from here, we're going to twist, reaching that right arm up. Right arm can reach, or you can bring your right hand behind onto your lower back, maybe adding a little something for that right shoulder. One more breath. And then from here, we'll release. <clears throat> Hands will come down as we step back and then go ahead through the transition. Know that you can always modify it. You can even skip this part if needed into downward facing dog. From here, left leg will lift it up. We'll step it forward in between the hands. As we ground the right heel, okay, maybe your hands stay on the mat. Maybe you'll grab your blocks as we come into this shape. Remember, hug the thighs together. Okay? Reach the chest forward. See if you can fold or just stay here. Now it's raining really hard. <laughs> One more breath here. And then from here, we'll add that twist. Ground into that right palm. And as you exhale, we'll reach that left arm up. Okay, so either stay here, left arm reaching up. You can even play around, reach it over the head or bring it onto your lower back if you like. Okay. Remember, pushing away from that bottom hand. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, we'll release. Okay, coming back down as we find our plank. Choosing again through the transition. Breathing in. And then into our downward facing dog. Okay, five cycles here, breathing in and out. Okay, at this point, I'm listening to the sound of the rain. <laughs> it can feel very soothing. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll bring the knees down. Then we'll find child's pose. You know, reach the hands over the head. You can bring your forehead down. You can even wrap your arms around the legs. You can add a bit of a shape side to side. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll reach the arms forward again. Okay. And then this time, we're going to reach both arms over to the right side. So you can reach on over to the right as much as you like. Okay. One more cycle here. And then from here, we're going to reach on over to the other side. Okay, just adding that side bend here in our child's pose. One more breath. And then from here, we'll come back to center. And then we'll find tabletop. From here, we'll curl the toes. <coughs> we'll lift up into our downward facing dog. Okay, right leg will lift it up. We'll step it forward in between the hands. We'll bring that left knee down. <coughs> Excuse me. Now from here, you'll bring your right foot out. Bring that right hand in. Okay, we're going to find lizard. Reach through the chest. You can press the hips forward. Go ahead, you can stay here or you want to add a little bit more 
Yeah, you can open that right knee out to the side. Make sure that you're also lifting the inner border of that right foot. You're welcome to stay here okay, if you feel happy and content or maybe for some you can come down to the elbows okay, if you like or if you still want a little bit more okay, you can bend your left knee and then we'll add the twist grabbing hold of that back foot so a lot of stretch happening here okay we have the right inner thigh we have the left quad we're adding the twist so choose what your body needs at the moment you don't have to go through all the options okay. you can adjust if you like you can stay as long as you like one more breath and then take your time in the release okay, as you come back up and then we'll step back into our downward facing dog okay let's do that on the other side inhale left leg will lift up We'll step it forward in between the hands. Right knee will bring it down. Okay. We'll bring the left foot out, bring that left hand in. You can stay here. You can always um, adjust if you like. Okay, if you need a little bit more, maybe hips will press forward. Okay, maybe chest will lift up. If you want to add your left inner thigh, okay, <clears throat> you'll start to open the knee out to the side again remember the inner border of your left foot is also lifting away from the mat you can stay here or you might start to bend that right knee okay. you can come down to the elbow okay. and then we'll add that twist okay. breathing in and out now i i need it more for my right quad so i'm going to stay here Okay, one more cycle again you can stay as long as you need and then from here we'll slowly release okay we'll make our way back into downward facing dog breathing in and out one more cycle here inhale and exhale and then from here we'll bring the knees down Okay. and then we're going to swing the legs in front <coughs> all right okay. from here inhale arms will lift up and then exhale will fold forward okay. now if it's not accessible to hold on to the toes okay, you can always grab your strap okay, or a towel or hold on to the legs or frame the feet okay, so there are several options as long as we feel it in the hamstrings, okay. let the chest press forward. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, we'll release. Okay, we'll make our way down to the mat. Now, if you still need something extra, reach the arms forward and then we'll slowly come all the way down. All right, from here, we'll bend the knees. We'll do our bridge, but we'll add the arms, okay? Ground down through the feet. As we inhale, hips will lift. We'll add reaching the arms over the head. And then exhale, we'll lower down. Okay. Inhale, we'll lift up. So I reach for my monstera plant. And then exhale, we'll lower. Last one we're going to hold. Inhale, hips will lift. Arms will stay over the head. Or you can hold on to the elbows. Okay, breathing in and out. One more cycle here. And then as you exhale, we'll release. Lower down the hips. And then we'll reset the arms. And then from here, we'll bring our feet as wide as the mat. We'll bring our arms out to a T. And then we'll do our windshield wipers here. Okay, taking your time. And as we inhale and exhale and then from here okay we're going to hold okay, you can choose any side that you like i'm just going to start on my left side okay dropping my knees to the left then you can stay here or you can bring your left foot on top of that right thigh and it'll give you a little bit more 
So you can choose if you need that added element or not. Okay, you can always adjust as we inhale and exhale. Okay, one more time here, breathing in and out. And then from here, we'll release. We'll switch on over to the other side. We'll lower down the knees to the right. Okay, as we breathe in and out. Again, you can stay here or <clears throat> you can add an option to bring your right foot to press that left thigh down. So we inhale and exhale. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll slowly release. We'll come back to center, reset here. When you're ready, here, we'll hug the knees in towards the chest. Okay. You can draw circles at the knees, go in one direction, go the other direction. Okay. You can find happy baby, grab the edges of the feet. Okay. You can stay here or you can rock from side to side. Maybe you might play around in happy baby. Maybe you'll start to kick one leg out to the side. Okay. Make sure you do it on the other side as well. And then we'll release. You okay, will bring the knees in again towards the chest. You can lift your head up, inhale. And then exhale, we'll lower all the way down. All right, now as we set up here, you can do any adjustments that you need. We'll bring the palms okay, by the sides, let the palms face up, and then close your eyes. Now as we take this moment to be still, okay, observe the noises around you, or the sounds around you rather, as I hear the pouring of the rain that sound maybe finding stillness balance it with what your senses are giving you and with what you are exploring inside can you find stillness among all of that as we find Shavasana can stay in your shavasana for as long as you like but for those who are ready to move on you can find those small movements okay you can start to reach your arms over the head any stretch that you like and then go ahead taking your time as you roll over to any side And then we'll make our way up to seated. And then as you take your time finding your seat, as we cross through the legs, hands on the knees, we'll close our eyes again as we ground together, finding that energy settling down as we inhale and exhale. One more time as we all together breathe. And then let go what we don't need. And we'll bring our palms together as we bow our head down. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me. And thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste.
So I hope you enjoyed that class. Actually, that class, um, the idea for that class was brought about from uh, me doing strength training the past month. Uh, the past month or so. So I've been doing my strength training at um, Metcon. Um, so it has been fun. And doing that, uh, those stretches really help balance out sort of the, the hard, um, intense workout. And just for me to let my muscles um, recover <laughs> from that practice. So if you have any questions, um, suggestions um, for classes, please make sure to write them down below in the comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Jo and Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.